I need more milk. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello, makeup is coming. <laughs> I am beyond excited for today's video because it includes one of my favorite, all time favorite TV shows, Game of Thrones. <laughs> In a Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. I am a massive Game of Thrones fan and I am so excited for the final season. Well, I'm actually not excited for the final season to come out because that means that it'll all be over soon. But what's even more fun is when both of my favorite worlds collide. So Game of Thrones and Urban Decay collaborated on their own special Game of Thrones collection. Uh. So for today's video, I'm gonna be diving into the Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette. Oh, and wait, wait, just wait. Look at that, oh, hello. Huh. This was sent to me in PR. However, that will never mean that it affects my opinion on the products if I alter my opinions on the products. If a product is shitty, I will tell you it is shitty. And if it's good, I will tell you it's good. Now, also in this video, something that you guys have been dying for me to do, a mukbang, but not just any type of mukbang. I didn't want this entire video to become like a Game of Thrones mukbang. So throughout this video, I will truly become the mother of dragons because I'm gonna be breathing fire because I'm gonna be eating these insanely hot peppers. These are the hottest peppers I could find in my town. Um, I have been warned that this is literally insane on the tongue. And that is what I'll be doing for you guys today. So not only do you get to see this collection, you will also see me breathing fire as the mother of dragons while in pain. So let's go. All right, so when skimming through the collection, I see an eyeshadow palette, I see a couple of glide on eye pencils, I see lipsticks, I see two really cool brushes, but what I don't see, even a highlight palette, but what I don't see necessarily are base products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly hop off camera, do my base, do my brows, get a clean canvas, and then let's dive into like the palette, the pencils, and all the good stuff, just to save some time and keep it going. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so my base is done. The brows are on. Now it's time to dive into the Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette. Now the palette comes in this very bulky sort of book-like palette. And when you open it up, it looks like this. And then when you lift this, it shows you the Iron Throne. Now hidden in here is the actual eyeshadow portion. And this is what that actual shadow portion looks like divided into the four iconic landscapes and household names. This is my first time actually seeing this. I haven't looked at this online. I haven't looked at any other reviews. And the first thought that I have is that they played it so safe. I am missing a couple of those iconic colors. Also, if I spoil anything in this video, that is all on you, baby. You had so much time to get caught up. You had so much time to know what's going on in the Game of Thrones right now. So if there are any spoilers, that's on you, not on me. For example, there could have been a bright ass blue to pay homage to Daenerys's dress or her dragon's eye, you know, the one that died and ended up in a lake and is now part of the, the White Walkers. I am missing a couple of colors that make you go, oh, I know where that is from. I know what that means. I know that reference. I'm kind of missing that. Now, of course, this is a beautiful palette, but it is leaning a little bit safe, you know, the colors and everything. Also, I'm noticing there are to be exact, three matte shades in here. But of course, that is just first impressions. You know, who knows, the shimmers might kick my ass and, you know, slay a dragon or two. So let's just play. I am first gonna Optimus Prime using my P. Louise base. All right, so House Lannister and this one right here look like a safe bat to put in the crease. I hate shimmers in the crease, so we're not doing that today. So let's just start off with House Lannister and on a bigger blending brush, I am just starting to diffuse that into my, ooh, that is, that is intense. I'm just starting to diffuse that into my crease and 
Oh, that looks a lot more rich on the eye than in the pan. It looks darker and more orange. I was leaning towards um, the blue tones in this. Let's see where this goes. I did not expect it to be so warm and, and intense. And I'm pushing this all the way towards the front of my brow to get a nice sunken in look. For everyone with hooded eyes, this is the magic trick. This really helps. So now let's see. So I really wanted to dip into this section right here, but now that this is so warm, I'm like, does that look good? It's like, instead of Game of Thrones, today we're playing the game of eyelids. Like who gets to go on my eyelid? Like who gets to take the lid? <laughs> I am loving this color right here. This is called Hard Home. All right, so on the lid, I'm popping on some of Hard Home and I'm just using tapping motions to get that color on. Okay, now that that is on, one of the items that really caught my eye in this collection is this Glide-On liner right here. This is in the color, the Night King. It is a stunning, like metallic teal blue. Kind of want to use that as like a diffuse cat eye liner and then set it with this portion here. So like this blue here called Frozen North. So I'm just going to play around a bit and try that. Now, while I do that, I want you to comment down below who you think takes the Iron Throne, who you think like who of the iconic characters in the series do you think die? in the end. I have a couple of names that I think don't make the end and um, I am afraid to tell you because I feel like people will fight me. <laughs> okay, I'm now dipping into the shade White Walker to kind of reinforce the blue tones. Like see how that added a bit more clarity of blue on that lash line. Okay. Okay, so right now it's kind of like this grungy, Daenerys went clubbing in Winterfell look. <laughs> on the inner corner, I wanna pop some more of the White Walker look. Such a good color. Oh, yes, duochrome. Oh, look at that. That is so unique and icy. I love that color. Let's play with that lower lash line and then hop a lash on. So I'm taking that The Night King pencil and putting it just on the outer edge of my lower lash line. And then taking the Winterfell Snow pencil and filling that little gap in. All right, so I'm kind of liking that. That is a creative, sort of modern, grungy, smoky take on a Daenerys look, or like the Night King's wife. So excuse me while I do my other eye off camera, pop a lash on, and then I'll be back to sort of start the engine of my dragon fire breath. I'll be right back. All right, so now that the eyes are done, it's time for something you guys have been demanding from me for so long. You guys wanna see me do ASMR while eating stuff, while talking to you guys. So for the cheek portion, while I bronze, contour, blush, and highlight, I thought, why not read you some of the most memorable, iconic Game of Thrones quotes in ASMR while munching on the hottest peppers in my town. This is about to be a train wreck. Okay, so, okay, let's do this. Okay, so since I obviously look like a white walker, I have to bronze. And while I bronze, I have a beautiful quote for you by an iconic Dutch actress. And she plays Melisandre, Lady Melisandre, the bitch that gave birth to a shadow baby. The night is dark and full of terrors. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God.
This is the most pain my tongue has ever felt. Dylan, I need more milk. <laughs> hey Dylan, yes. in the wise words of Bron, there's no cure for being a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dylan, as you leave the studio, don't forget to hold the door. <laughs> Goodbye. Winter's coming. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of peach blush since that grease was so much more peach than it was supposed to be. So we're just making it a peach party. All right guys, so the last little portion before we go back to normal is highlighter. And in this collection is the Mother of Dragons highlight palette. This is what it looks like. Now these two are too dark for my skin because I'm a white walker. This Drogon pink color, which, why is Drogon pink? Drogon is not pink, what are you doing? That is really pretty. And while I apply this dragon named highlighter, I have one last iconic quote for you. And something I actually did for Rihanna when I met her. And this quote, we have to thank to our beloved Daenerys Targaryen. And her famous quote is, Bethany, bitch. Bethany. All right, guys, I am back. So for the lips, the final portion of this video. In this collection come four colors, just like the palette, and it has the color Daenerys Targaryen, which is this sort of metallic red color. It has Sansa Stark, which is this beautiful, it looks like the crease, this beautiful darkened peach nude color. It has Cersei Lannister, which is a sort of bronze gold, like a vampy bronze gold. And last but certainly not least, it has White Walker, which is a dark vampy bloody color. This look is already crazy enough as it is. I know a lot of people want me to apply White Walker, I just know it, um, but today, I think I'm gonna be going for Sansa. Also because I feel like Sansa is gonna make it very far into the series, if not make it alive to the very end. So in honor of Sansa, this is going on my lips. Before I do that though, I quickly have to align. That is a pretty nude. Now I think that color is like a dead on dupe for whatever is happening in that crease. So I don't mind this. 
Okay, now that I finally look more like a cheap Lady Gaga impersonator as opposed to someone, or like anyone, in the Game of Thrones realm, it is time to give you my final opinions. Overall, when I look back at playing with this HBO Game of Thrones Urban Decay collection, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, you know? I expected, you know, this was the one collection where you could do some serious magic. This is the one collection where Urban Decay, in my opinion, could have gone boom and they went. I mean, of course, the packaging on this palette is phenomenal. You get the Iron Throne. It's all very pretty, but also very limited. With the colors looking different on the eyes as opposed to they do in the pan, it is a beautiful palette, but these, in my opinion, are all colors that we can find in other palettes. You probably have them in your kit already. If you have nothing like this in your, in your stash yet, then I say absolutely go grab it. If you are a crazy Game of Thrones fan, I absolutely say go and get this because you will have so much fun looking at the names, looking at the graphics, looking at the entire vibe. But when I look at the actual makeup, it's a little bit lackluster if you ask me. I mean, this Sansa Stark nude lip is beautiful, but you probably already have it. The only two items that I feel are so unique are the brushes. Now these are brushes that are inspired by the swords that Jon Snow and Arya Stark use on the show. So we have Needle and we have, well, Jon's big old feisty old little thing. So these actually look amazing in the sense that they actually are eyeshadow sword brushes, but they are pretty impractical. And the, to be honest, the Urban Decay brushes aren't my favorite, but these are collector's items that I will not take out of the box because they are just so beautiful and I don't want anything bad to happen to them anytime soon. So I think the brushes are super unique and I kind of expected more of the uniqueness with the brushes for the entire collection. I'm not in any way, shape or form saying that this is a bad collection. I just you know, I hold Game of Thrones and Urban Decay to such high standards that when I played with this and saw everything unfold, I was a little bit underwhelmed. So there you have it, guys. That is my playtime video playing with the Game of Thrones and Urban Decay collection. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of the look? What do you think of the colors? What do you think of everything you've seen in this video so far? Let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you want me to do more videos with the ASMR mukbang part while not trying to kill myself. That would be great. So without any further ado, let's go on to today's Dutch word of the day. For today's Dutch word of the day, I want to be teaching you the Dutch word for dragon, since the dragons are pretty brutal in Game of Thrones. So let's go. Drak. 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 If you want it, let's do it. Ride it, my duck. <laughs> if you want to be featured in my next video, don't forget to comment the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. Or if you want to see your actual face pop up in my next video in a video response, leave that video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day. Thank you so much for watching this crazy video. I had literally so much fun filming it for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Okay, I'm on my way to slay some dragon. Bye. <laughs>